Today's episode is all about being a daymaker. Okay, so what's a daymaker? What does this word mean and how do you become one? Being a daymaker means you focus on someone, one person, and you decide, I'm gonna make this person's day better than it was before. That's it, it's just that simple, simple and powerful. There's a guy named David Wagner who first coined the term daymaker. He even wrote a whole book about it, and I'll talk a little more about his work in just a sec. What I love about this concept is you can be a daymaker in all areas of your life. It's universal. You can be a daymaker for a client. You can be a daymaker for a friend. You can be a daymaker for a group of people. So, like, you could surprise a whole bunch of teachers at your kid's school. That's a great idea. You can even be a daymaker for a complete stranger, my favorite. It's all about changing the world by focusing on one person at a time, making one person's life better, better than it was before. By changing one life, you can start a ripple effect and that can change the whole world. I just love that. I wanna be a daymaker and I bet you do too. So let's talk about some specific ways to do this. Here we go. Oh, hey, I'm Susan Hyatt, and this is Go Time TV. This is the show about creating what you crave right now. I'm a master certified life coach, author, entrepreneur, motivational speaker. I'm also a mom of two college age kids, and I'm married, and I've learned a lot in these 47 years. And one thing I've learned is that we're done with certain things. We're done with apologizing, we're done with hiding. We're done with pretending that we're not good enough to go after our goals and our dreams. So join me for these short episodes where I bring you on a journey and teach you how to get more of what you want. More time, more energy, more money, more intimacy, whatever it is that you crave, we're gonna create it right here on GoTime TV. It's time for the question of the day. This is the part of the show where I share a question for you, the beautiful person watching this episode right now. Here's my question for you. It's a two part question. Number one, who is someone that's really important to you? And number two, how could you brighten their day? Who's it gonna be? What you gonna do? post your answer down below in the comments. And then of course, don't just post about it, be about it, go do it and make their day. Logan, how much, how much, like what's the average tip amount you guys get per day? Um, for the entire day? Mm -hmm. Or for like shift? For the day. For usually, you, like your shift. Okay, so usually we'll leave somewhere between like 15 to 20 bucks. Bucks a day? Yeah, each person, yeah. Okay, how many days a week do you work? I'm here usually two to three days. Okay, so how about I tip you $100? That's like a couple weeks worth. That's a couple weeks worth of tip. Yeah, that'd be amazing. You don't have to do all that. Well, we are trying to be day makers today. Does that make your day? It does make my day. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks so much. Thank yeah. you. Really appreciate what it. are you gonna do with your hundred bucks? Rent. <laughs> oh, rent. Rent. Student loans. Oh my <laughs> God! What if I told you you had to use it on just you? Um. I'm gonna take my fiance and I stand. All right, yeah. where where would you take her? Ooh, our favorite's Acropolis. Yeah, yeah I like Acropolis favorite. too. All yeah. right, so also dinner's on me. All right, well, thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, have a good day. Thank you as well.
Aren't you going everywhere? Oh, oh this is so sweet. Aww. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. I'm so excited. Oh. So sweet. Oh, she's so oh, sweet. Oh my gosh. Oh, you are such a doll. No, you oh, are. No, you are. We are we are being day makers today. Oh, surprising my God. people. <laughs> make my day. Oh, stop it. You I'm going to have to do a whole episode about how this lady driving a truck to pick up office furniture. Anything. Anything for you, girl. Well, this I hope you enjoy awesome. your flowers. I didn't mean Thank to disrupt you so your meeting. No, this is awesome, though. Thank you. You're very welcome. Hey guys. Hello, everybody. Recently, a friend told me about a book called Life as a Daymaker, How to Change the World by Simply Making Someone's Day. It's a book written by David Wagner. Now, David is one of the original Aveda Salon owners, the hair product company. And before that, he was a hairstylist who did cuts, colors, and saw tons of clients every week. And he's driven by a very simple idea. What if your life purpose is simply to make someone's day? What if every day you wake up and ask yourself, how can I be a day maker today? Maybe you want to be a day maker, but you're not sure what to do and you're not sure where to begin. You need some inspo? I gotcha. Here are three day maker ideas for you in no particular order. Help someone get what they want. So maybe you know someone who is searching for a job or trying to get more clients or desperately hunting for childcare or homeschooling resources or something else help them out. Introduce them to somebody that they need to know. Share a resource, share a tip. Tell them about an opportunity, a scholarship, a grant, or something that might really make a difference for them. Open a door for them. They will be so grateful and you will feel so generous. Win-win. Okay, here's another daymaker idea for you. Do something totally extra. On a recent episode of this show, I went around handing out sparkling tiaras to a few amazing women that I know. Look, I know handing out a sparkly crown is very diva and very extra and it's just a lot. <laughs> but you know what? I love being extra. I love doing the most. I am definitely a maximalist and not a minimalist. And these women absolutely loved it. It was so fun for me and for them. And it totally made their day and mine. So what's something extra you could do for your partner, your kids, your best friend, your mentor, or maybe your customers? How could you go above and beyond and just make them go, oh my God, this is the best day ever. Maybe it's a virtual dance party or adopting a puppy or handing out awards to the people on your team or sending out bonus checks or something else. Do it, so fun. Here's one more daymaker idea for you. Do a tiny miracle. This means think about someone you know, like a colleague or client, for instance, and ask yourself, what's this person struggling with right now? And what would really help this person out? What would feel like a miracle for this person? And then make that miracle happen. Maybe you've got a client who's really struggling to finish a particular project. They've got a tight deadline and a crazy day and they're really, really stressed out. Maybe you could order lunch and get it delivered to them. Surprise, lunch, handled, it's a miracle. And now they've got one less thing to worry about and they can focus on their project and get it done. That lunch delivery might feel like a freaking miracle for them, a godsend. They will be so moved by your thoughtfulness. Okay, Boo Berry, those are just three little ideas, but of course, there are infinite ways that you can make someone's day better than it was before. So how could you make someone smile? How could you make someone feel stronger, more confident? How could you help someone navigate a tough time? How could you help someone feel supported and feel less alone? Pick someone, pick something, and do it. Being a day maker is such a win-win experience. It changes your life and theirs. Go, go, go. And please hit me up on social media or email my team and share what you decided to do. I can't wait 
to hear about your Daymaker magic. This has been Go Time TV. I hope this episode has inspired you to be a Daymaker at work, at home, everywhere, because our world could definitely, definitely, definitely use some Daymaker magic right about now. A lot of people are seriously stressed and hurting. So every time you decide to be a Daymaker, it helps. It helps so much more than you think. And the thing is, being a daymaker doesn't mean you need to spend a lot of money or do something dramatic. I mean, you certainly could if you want. But really, being a daymaker is all about the little things. It's remembering to call. It's sending a pep talk when they need it most. It's writing a text and you say, I see you, I believe in you. It's giving someone one full minute of your undivided attention. That's what it's all about. And that is something you can do every day, even if you're really, really busy or really tired or don't have much to give, even with limited time, you can still change someone's day. And while you're out there busily trying to make someone's day and save the world, don't forget to make your own day too. Do something special for yourself. Brighten your own day because the better you feel, the more sunshine you've got to spread around. If this show brought a little bit of positivity and sunshine into your day, click thumbs up below. Do it, thank you, and subscribe so that you never ever miss a new episode. I'm Susan Hyatt saying bye until next time. And remember, you only get one life, make it big, make it bold, and make it count. It's go time.